Hello guys, welcome to Life Flow. My name is Manu. Beatbox is my thing. Yeah, I know, guys. By the way, if I was on fire, tell me in the comment section. I know I was on fire. <laughs> anyway, guys, see, beatbox is not my thing. Beatbox, let me check in a job. You know, Jimmy, the one who does do, do, the one we had an interview with last time. Jimmy. Yes, and so for me, beatbox is not my thing, my talent is spoken word. But before that happens, <laughs> And so in today's video, uh, both Fred, both Fred and I, we are challenging ourselves, actually not challenging ourselves. We want to share with you guys to tell you guys how we got to know about our talents, how I got to know that I do spoken word. And so I'm going to give my story. Fred is going to give his story in another different video. And we are going to be doing these segments. We don't have a name yet for this segment, but we are going to get a name for this segment whereby people are going to be telling us, people who are talented and people who are doing great things in their talents, they are going to tell us how they started and how they knew they are talented. And so today I'm going to be telling you how I began spoken word. It's a, a very sweet story. Yes, so welcome. Let's do this. Guys, and so welcome to Life Proof. As I told you, uh, today we are talking about talents, how I got to discover my talent and how guys you can know what you are talented in. What should we check out so that you can know maybe am I talented in beatboxes, man is talented or am I talented in, in cooking, whatever, what, whatever talent is it, hey, whatever talent it is, you get to know how you are talented in it. So for me it's spoken out, I remember when I was young, uh, actually my dad is a pastor and so my dad used to, as he used to go to church and going to different places to preach he will go together with me like going with your, your with your child holding your child and before he before he shares the word before he pre, before the preaching he will call me Emmanuel come and then he will ask me to say a memory verse each and every time before he preach before the preaching he would ask me to say a memory verse and so i used to say memory verses every time we would go with him i used to share memory verses a lot so that's how i can say began talking and then that that is about life i grew up and then i remember when i was around in form three from four i started rapping yeah fred i used to be a rapper yes and so i started rapping and so rapping i went and so i was like yo dad i went to my dad and so i was like yeah dad no no I want to be a rapper. And so he was like, a rapper? Okay, do rap so that I can hear uh, your rap. I can hear what, uh, I can hear that talent, how it is. And so I was like, okay, let me give you a, a, a trailer. It used to be like something like, Daku. Yeah, so that's just a, a, a sentence I remember I, I wrote and I used to rap and I went and I rapped before my dad and my dad was like, uh, is that it? Yeah, like he never liked the rap and he told me, no, I don't think you should be doing rap, just do something else but not rapping. And so I was like, ah, even my dad doesn't support my talent. And then I went, and the lines still used to come. You know, if you are a rapper, if you are a, a creative, the lines normally come, like, in, they come naturally. And so I, the lines used to come, and so I wrote them down. But then I decided, instead of rapping these lines, I'm going to just read it as it, I'm going to read it as it is. And so I read, writing the rap down, I would read it instead of rapping it. And so that's how I started. And then I remember a certain guy by the name Pitster Poet, a very good poet, you should check out his channel. Pitster Poet came to our school as a motivational speaker. He came to motivate us, I was in Form 4, and then after, after that he did a spoken word. He told us apart from being a motivational speaker, he also does spoken word. And so he did a very wonderful spoken word and listening to him I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. Like I just felt it inside inside me, that's what I want to do. And so after that I went and researched more about spoken word and I started now uh, rehearsing and reading it as a spoken word, but never performed anywhere except I once performed to my friends. And then, so this day, these guys from Citizen TV, Kubamba, the Kubamba TV, the Tendlers Noel, the Jimos, those guys, Kinakambua, the way they used to go to high school, they came to our high school and they were like, if you're talented in any way and you like to perform tomorrow live on, City, on Citizen TV, just register, come for the rehearsals. And so I was like, ah, no, I don't think I can go for these rehearsals because I've never, I've never done a spoken word anywhere. And so I never went for them. I 
I did not want to go for the rehearsals, but my friends, they they psyched me up telling me, yeah, man, you should go for this, go try this. But still, I was, like, I was not so confident in myself. But then a friend of mine, a Muslim for that matter, Salim Mohammed Kimemia, I'll never forget that name, Salim Mohammed Kimemia, a very good friend of mine, he came to me and he told me, ah, Manu, ah, this Pokemon, you should go do this Pokemon on Citizen, you never know if this is what God wants to use you in. And so I was like, this is a Muslim challenging me to serve God with my talent. And so I went for the rehearsal on that Saturday, I went for the rehearsal and I definitely failed. And so because I forgot some lines, and so they told me, ah, no, because you forgot the lines, unless you come tomorrow morning, having mastered all the lines, you can't go on TV that way. And so that day, I remember, I went home, and I don't know, I, I, I can't remember if I slept, because I was just on my bed, rehearsing, and rehearsing, like I was on top of my bed, and just in my room, I'm there rehearsing, singing this spoken word, assuming that there is a big audience listening to me, assuming people are snapping, yeah, there is now one, I'm just in my room. And so that's how I rehearsed that night. I, I think I did it almost 50 times so that I could have it in my mind. And so after doing that, the next morning, now the Sunday, I went to Timeless Noel and I told him, by the way, guy, I... I'm already ready, I'm ready with my spoken word. And so he was like, okay, say it, let's listen to it. And so I did it and I did it well and I passed to go do it live on TV. And so my first performance was my first performance was live on TV, Citizen TV. And so Citizen TV and specifically Kubamba team, thank you so much. That was my first performance. And I performed there and after that God has been giving me and taking me to places where He wants me to speak. And I've done spoken out in many places and I believe God is still going to take me to many places to take his word. And so that's my story about spoken word. And I say in this video, how to know your talent, how to know your, what your talent is in. First of all, look at what you love doing. When you're free, what do you love doing? What do you do? Like, you do it effortlessly, without struggling, without, like, you don't, you, you don't struggle doing this. It's just something that comes naturally out of you. That's something that... That's how you get to identify what you're talented in. I love talking, as I'm talking right now. I love talking, and so in spoken word, I love writing you know, so creatively those lines. I love, I love sharing the word of God, and so that's why I do spoken word. So look at what you love doing, and also your friends can help you identify. But hey, just ask your friends, hey, but hey, what, what do you think I'm talented in? What do I do so well? That's also a way of you getting to know what you're talented in. And so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, the next. Uh, the next episode you're going to bring someone else or actually you're going to bring fred in the next one this is episode one episode two fred is going to come through as he tells us how he began rapping yes thank you so much see you next time remember to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell remember here on life before we get to talk about how we are going to use our talents in the right way thank you so much see you next time bye bye